Hello everyone. The Advanced HR Employee Loan Management Odoo app allows employee to request a loan and repay them through a payroll or manually. HR can set a loan type, policies and approval steps. Employee can view their installments and the system track all the loan stages with a clear dashboard. It also handles an EMI postpones and create an automatic accounting entries. Now, after installing our module, let's complete an access rights configuration. So for that, we need to get into the settings. Now, under the user and companies, let's get into the user. So we have created an user, demo user, manager, HR, as well as the accountant. Now for the demo user, we have enabled an access named employee loan. So if we have given an access, this employee have an access to create a loan. Now we have an other uh, access rights like manager so they can approve uh, their loan which we have created uh, by the normal user. Now it is an HR so this person can approve the loan as a HR and um, this is an accountant so we have given an access rights for accountant loan. So these, uh, these are all the users which we have created and we have given an access rights. Now uh, let's get into a loan. So once we have given an access, so where you can see the configuration, so where we can create a loan proof. So first we have created a loan proof where it is a mandatory, so we need to enable this option. And then we have a loan type. So from here we can create a loan type, we need to give the name, code and also if it is an interest payable, so we need to enable this option and we can type and mode whether it is a flat or a using. And in this we need to give the rate. Okay, and then here you can see an uh, dispersed method. So whether it is detected by the payroll or else a direct cash or check method. Okay, we have two options. And in this we can add a proof. So these two are the mandatory ones. In this, we can add an employee category and also the employees if needed. Now, these are all about a loan types. Now, let's get into a loan policies. So, where we can create a policy with a code and also here we can add a policy type, whether it is a maximum loan amount, gap between two loans or else and qualified period. And in this, we can add a fixed amount and we can add an amount of the values. Okay. And in this, we can add employee category as well as the employees. Now these are about the configuration and we have in another configurations. So for that, let's get into the end settings. Um, in this, we need to get into the payroll. So where you can see a postponed loan limit and EMA request limit. And here you can see in a notify before days and also commandment before uh, period dates. Okay, so here we can add a months over here. So once we have set up everything, now let's log in as a demo user to see how it works. Now we are in the demo user login. Let's get into the loans. So here in this, we can see a dashboard along with that. You can see the loan requests as well as an installments. So in the dashboard, you can see an approved loans and dispersed loans. Everything can be seen over here. Now to create a loan, we can just click on this option to create a new loan. So it will directly lead you to the page of creating the loan where you can create it. So now let's add a loan okay now in this i just created added an employee and in this we need to add an apply on date um in this we need to add a principal amount so in this you can see a loan with interest as well as and without interest option so now let's add a principal amount like i'm adding an uh, ten thousand okay so like i'm just changing the loan type as an education so i want a ten thousand and i'll just uh, do the duration will be two months within two months i will be paid okay now like the same way let's add an amount over here and i'm adding a duration so in this we need to add a proof so if someone has tried to apply so it will ask for an mandatory documents which we have so now let's add a proof so now i'm adding an other card first and then uh, let's add in another one too so here i'm adding in another proofs so we have added two proofs now let's save this one and just clicking on the apply so now it is waiting for a department approval so let's log in as the manager now now we are in the manager login let's get into the loan where you can see the dashboard and then the loan request and loan request is to approve and how many uh, loan installments are there and postponed request and also and dispersed loans can also be seen by the manager
okay now let's get into the two approve so yeah this is the one which we have created and which is wait for and department approval so let's check everything yeah this is the one this is the one and the proofs so from here we can uh do the checklist so whether it is got in or not so i just i'm doing the checklist over here now in this we can add an accounting like when which account it must be uh, reflected and here we can add the policies and also the notes now let's save this one and in case if this person needs to be rejected we can add a reject reason over here and it will be tracked okay now let's click on the department approval yeah now it is done now it's wait for an hr approval so let's log in as an hr now now we are in the login of hr so let's get into the loans where we can see a dashboard and if uh, this person will be the hr so they can see the configuration and they can modify it anytime they need and also they can create it of their own okay so now if you get, get into the loans where you can see the loan request can be created and also they can approve it so this is the one which we have created and it's waiting for an approval and if needed we can reject it also now let's approve now it's approved now we need to log in as an accountant now okay to approve further now in the same hr login where you can see the loan instruments postman request and also and um disposed loans can also be seen here now let's log in as an um accountant now now we are in the login of account and let's get into the loans so this user can also see a dashboard and here in this you can see the loan request to approve loans installments postponed request and also a dispersed loan along with that they can see a loans needs to be dispersed can also be seen in the list as this person will be an accountant okay now let's get into the loan request to approve and this is the one which we have created this person can see and compute option and here in this we can compute it so once we have computed you can see a lines will be generated so in the in this loan like loan with an interest it will show a loan with an interest and if it is if you get into here there is a no interest will be added you can see that okay now uh, if you get into here so where you can see in a state will be in the unpaid state so this uh, the code will be an 18 so if i get into an installment so this is the one which uh, which we have created now where you can see an approved payments not only here if you get into the uh, one right away here so where you can see all the details and from here itself also we can just approve the payment and we can pay for the same okay and then it will create a draft entry so we can make an uh make it done posted so if if you get back to the same page like get if you get into the loan where you can see the stages will be changed to paid state now okay and this will be an unpaid and this all will be an unpaid state okay and also it will generate an email in each and every stages where you can see it will generate an email for the accountant so it will be showing the mark mark demo user employee approval for the loan and which person will be approved and which how much amount it will be and like the same way it will be for an uh, another approval which will be for hr and also for the manager and if an uh, request will be created and also it, it will send an mail so you can see all the details over here now we can see about and loan installments so for the loan installments so for example let's take this one so where you can see and request postpone emi so we can see uh and stages will be moved for and applied for and uh postpone okay and now we can confirm and we can do the uh, department approval and we can do the hr approval where you can see a uh, stages also over here and now you can see an option for pay so it will create a draft entry now let's do the payment so once it is done uh, so you can see the payment will be done for the same now let's see how we can do an payroll process so for that we need to get into the employees now let's get into and mark demo user so for this user uh, we have enable and multi loans okay so if we have enable and multi loans this person have an access to uh, access for um, requesting and multiple loans okay you can see in home loan educational loan so multiple loans can be added and here we can add the policies so for the same user now let's create and payroll so before that uh, we need to get into the payroll 
from the configuration let's get into the rules so where we can see an uh, rule for a, a loan pay where in this you can see an installment loan over here okay so it will be automatically created once we have installed our module now let's create and paste for the same user so let's create it and we need to add an um, username okay and in this you can see the structure now let's compute the sheet so once we have computed you can see an installment loan as well as an interest loan will be automatically taken and you can clearly see that our module will be automatically linked with the accounting so it will create an entries so if you get into each and every loans so where you can see and it will be let's let's get into the one which we have created okay and so for this you can see we have uh, four loans that we have created and now let's pay for the another one too and let's pay this one so it will be in the paid state now and let's pay this one as well okay now we have paid everything so now let's click on the disperse over here so now it will be in the dispersed state right now and in the chatter you can see a clear history of who will be approved and when it will be approved okay and you can see a um, user will be created which user will be created department approval dispersed date everything can be seen over here and in on the top you can see on um, all the loans which we have created will be seen here with along with the total everything okay so it will be automatically linked with our accounting part now on the same where you can see an option for printing the loan so it will list out all the details about the loan that we have created like loan with interest loan without interest and here in this loan installment with interest without interest everything can be seen over here in the same thing and if you have added the policy so where you can see the policies as well this is how this module works if you have any queries regarding this video you can ask in the comment box we will definitely solve your queries and if you feel this video is helpful to you you can like this video and subscribe our youtube channel for more odoo related updates thanks for watching